Hey, uh, this is Advent of Code again. Uh, today we are solving day four. Will it be easy? Will it be hard? I don't know. Let's see. Uh, let's maybe we'll get more of a picture seen here. Okay, let's go. Uh, you already almost a mile below the surface duration. It's deep. Okay, so we met a squid. English played on set of boards, each consisting of five five grid of numbers and numbers are chosen at random and chosen numbers marked on all boards. Numbers may not appear on all boards. If all numbers in a row of any color or board are marked, the board wins. Okay, diagonals don't count. Uh, submarine has a bingo subsystem to help passengers count the U and giant squid, pass the time, it automatically generates a random order, and we draw numbers at a random set of boards. You puzzle input. Okay, so these are numbers that we draw, these are boards, right? After the first five numbers are drawn, there are no winners, but the board are marked as follows, shown here adjacent to each other to save space. Uh, yeah, so this is... This glow might be too subtle, I guess they need something different, but yeah, I can see it, but um, yeah, the idea is clear. The next same number, there's still no winners, finally 24 is drawn, and we have a winner here. Uh, the score of the winning board can now be calculated, start by finding the sum of all unmarked numbers on that board, in this case the sum is a 188, then multiply that sum by the number that was just called when the board won 24 to get the final score. The guarantee victory against the giant squid, figure out which board will win first. What will your final score be if you choose that board? Okay, so oh, oh. then we don't know how many boards are there. Oh my god. Okay. Interesting. Uh, oh, but we know the boards are 5 by 5, right? That means that 25 numbers uh, we read by group of 25. Okay, yeah, yeah, so sure. Okay, so let's copy this to the input here. Um, you might be wondering what you're seeing. Uh, yes, yeah, so this is a new theme for Sublime Text. I was uh, I saw it um, Andre Brasser yesterday that he uses Tomorrow Blue, which is uh, a scheme that looks kind of like that with different font, of course. But I, I I figured why not try to build a scheme that uh, looks exactly like uh, I don't know Total Commander, oh, sorry Northern Commander or Farm Manager or something like that. And I just did that, and we are going to see how how cool it is to use, and if it's usable, I might publish it. I also using a font called more more, more perfect DOS VJ, which is exactly that. We can use your code as well. There's no problem here. Maybe it's even better. But like today is full retro. We're going full retro. Okay. Okay, so, and we have example here, uh, our example is like that, we will keep an example probably here, um, or maybe example, okay, so this is kind of the same, example, yes. Um, yeah, of course I'm using block cursor. Okay, so this is good. -ish. Okay, we have example. Now our task is to parse it, right? So to parse it, we um, we read first line. Let's write a function called parse. It takes input. Um, we don't really need lines, but um, we need first line, kind of. So we, we split, like how do we do that? Uh, we probably... There is a split function, right? Somewhere, so we use that. And this can cause split and yeah, so we do split, 
numbers boards. So we split input with backslash n and we pass one number one, which means we only want parse example. No, it didn't work. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, of course. No, 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 wait. What? Of course, what? This is not, of course. It is supposed to work. Yeah. It kind of didn't. Why didn't it? Maybe it has to be two. Yeah, it seems like it has to be two. So it's not number of splits, it's number of results you expect. Okay, so uh, in the answer, it will be number string split actually do we have yeah regular it has to be regular expression so we know it's comma right and um, map parse long and boards are boards okay and we don't need this okay so numbers work uh, this is good to know and now we need to parse boards so to parse boards we can split by backslash n backslash n uh, let's try that actually split let's see where it gets us not where we want it or where we want it yes uh, like let's um, is it dream it's also like that yes so kind of like that I need uh, some way to pretty print it, but it kind of works. Okay, so uh, what we want, we just don't want just board, like not not like that, right? Um, yeah, let's let's write a function that uh, will be called parse board, and uh, it takes board. It so what it does is probably trims it first, split it on slash n, backslash n, right? So now we have and then we kind of each of it. So this way we get rows, uh, these are rows. And then each one we want kind of percent. Um, stir split white space, right? So this is parse boards and kind of like that, cross count exception. Okay, so yeah, this, this needs to be mm -hmm. still doesn't work somewhere. Okay, so this is our board that has some nils, which is not good. Have nils actually. Yeah, I don't know why 
it has nails. Okay, so this looks like a board, right? So a row, a row, a row, a row, a row, and it's all like a board. Okay, that uh, kind of uh, works. Not the prettiest code, and I'm not super happy with it, but also. I can actually, you know what, we can we can uh, parse long because we know it's a sequence of 25 partition. And then we kind of five. This is uh, easier, right? It's not a vectors now, but hmm. Now it's vectors. Okay. Um, yeah, so we get our input and we get numbers and boards. So now kind of we play the game, right? And the way we play it is we write a function that takes... Maybe we need board as separate structure. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Um, because it's like it needs to keep track of uh, market numbers. Okay, record board rows, right? Or we can mm, hmm. we can actually do it other. Uh oh, I press something. I press something and everything disappear. Okay, we can actually do it um, differently. We can uh, def on score and we take a board. And nums, right? And we expect nums to be set, uh, for example. And uh, if it wins, we return a score. If it doesn't, uh, it, it, it doesn't. So, and we need to check for all five rows. Um, and if either of them wins. And you know what? Um, let's uh, write when every nums row we return reduce plus nums multiplied by uh, last nums and we expect in this case we expect nums not to be a set which is
and maybe we need a set here. It, it doesn't really matter. Let's call in. So the function called in is which just checks if. Not this list, this list. Closure doesn't have it, but we kind of want an index of um, so we use this in no, no, every in nums percent so yeah if uh, in a row every number is in numbers that we draw we reduce uh, row and multiply by last of the numbers okay so some row score percent nums for um board uh, so this will check rows right and we need columns as well so how do we get columns uh, this will be map v range 5 this gives us uh, this right um, in this board 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 Okay, so how do we get columns, right? So these are rows, these are not naturally accessed. Now we need, for example, the second column, right? Like this. How do we get this? Uh, we iterate over row. So we need to kind of transpond the this thing. We can write a function that transponds it, or how how it's called. And Kind of like this, yes. Let's see, let's see. We know that um, we know that this. Let's. Uh, we know that if board is like this, so we can check actually, yes. Uh, score parse board, we have that right. We insert a board in here, yes, we can parse a board, and then a sequence of numbers which will be up to 24. Right, nineteen twenty. Is it uh, correct? No. Okay. What if we avoid this? Eighty. Incorrect. <laughs> um, okay. 
Okay, 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 okay. What if we use less numbers? It's it doesn't score, right? Eighty. Uh, describing with start by finding the sum of all. Uh, okay, I, I'm doing the wrong thing. Oh my fucking god! We need to sum all unmarked numbers. Okay, so this means. We cannot identify score by looking at row alone. Uh, we can just say one, right? And one is very simple, like this. So now we either check Is it, is it called transpond? No, transpose, transpose, okay. Uh, different transpose board and transpose board will be like basically this. Right. Let's see if we call this. We get normal transpose. So we get 14, 8, 18. Yeah, it, it seems to work. Cool. So we have transpose. Um, transpose board. Right. So if any of those wins, uh, it actually, it means that here nums could be a set, and we don't need that. Um, set set nums num set. So uh, this is a little optimization because, like, I don't like to do unnecessary work when it's not needed. Uh, we can also cache transpose boards somehow. I think. Mm. Do we want to do that? We want to do that because we don't care which of the boards win, right? Uh, <laughs> actually. Um, so we just concatenate uh, transposed boards to normal boards. For that, we will need the, this. And the upside is it's just uh, checking them is simpler. We don't need uh, this if. We don't need to build transposed board for each one of them. Okay, so now um, we what we want is uh, we want to take board we want to make a sequence of it so we just draw in everything well, actually we can do even simpler. So we join everything, right? Then we remove num set. So remove all marked numbers. We reduce with plus what's left. No, no, no. 
we removed all marked, we sum all unmarked, and we multiply it by kind of like this, right? And let's see what we get. Uh, four, five, something, something. Is it correct? Yeah, this is correct. Cool. And for this, it's nil. Cool. Okay, uh, so this is great, and uh, basically what we want is uh, defn. Well, actually, we can start writing here. So what we want to do is numbers uh, boards. We take numbers boards from parts input right uh, what we do is we try uh, to take one number two numbers three number four number basically we start with with one right? Score boards percent and Well, we hope they all solvable. Right. Otherwise, we record. Okay, so let's see. Four nine eight six no zero four eight six zero. Yay, we solved it. Cool. Uh, part two. Okay, so this was interesting. Let's say. Um, yeah, let's move to part two. On the other hand, it might be wise to try a different or let the giant squid win. You aren't sure how many bingo boards the giant squid could play at once, so rather than waste time counting its arms, the safe thing to do is to figure out which board will win last and choose that one. That way, no matter which boards it picks, it will win for sure. Okay, yeah, makes sense. In the above example, the second board is the last to win, which happens after 13 is venture code and its middle column is completely marked. Uh, if you were to keep playing until this point, the second board would have a sum of mark numbers equal figure out which word will okay. Um, yeah, we, we need to figure the last winning board instead of the first winning board, which is okay, reasonable thing, right? Um so I suppose we just keep Okay, so I, I think we need to reuse this part, which, like, we remove boards until one left is left. No, 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 no. We, we use the same uh, loop. Um, uh, 
we use the same loop. Uh, we try to remove winning boards, right? In each turn, multiple boards could win. So we kind of Yeah, probably this one goes up, this one goes down, this looks okay, uh, so we kind of make boards, remove so we take boards and we remove from them a board that wins this turn, right? Right? Yeah. And if If there are still some boards, we just recur boards, right? But if there are no boards, that means that we removed the last one. So basically we need to last boards. We calculate score once more. What, what the heck? Mm -hmm. Okay, part two example, it is wrong, okay, okay, something is not correct. Okay, so we remove scoreboards that, that win in this round, right? Um, if there are still boards left, boards that are not winning yet. Oh yeah, this one we don't win. No, it's still still wrong. Let's see that there is only... Okay, so... <laughs> what? The extra three boards... What? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The second board is last to win, which happened after 13. Is it correct? Not in our case. Oh, this is because we using we use more boards. Oh my fucking god! This is because I optimized for like transponded boards. Yes, of course. Oh my god. Okay, so uh, yeah, this is was uh, transposed boards. Smart, but not very smart. Um, because we're actually solving different kind of problem. Okay, let's see that part one is still valid. It kind of is. It kind of is. We probably need actually, you know what, we need um, to write a function we don't need every like that, we don't need that, and um, actually the score uh, 
this is core rows, right? And we also want to write just score, and it will be either score rows board nums or score rows transpose board nums. So not particularly efficient, but hey, who cares? Okay, so first part works. Okay, cool. And the second one, second one now works too. Okay, cool. Uh, so we don't need that. We need score last boards nums, right? And the answer is two, four, six, two. Two four six two eight. Boom! Yay, we solved it. Cool. Uh, let me just commit it and I think we're good. Yeah, I like it's tricky, but it's not efficient, right? We transpose board uh, on each time we check the score, which is super inefficient, and I'm trying to get rid of that, but the task is small enough for us not to care. Um, no, that's why, yeah, otherwise I pretty like the solutions. Yeah, I also need to add it to my script because I like, I like scripts actually when they like just work, machine work at work. Cool. Uh, let me commit, and that will be all for today. D4, D4 example, and D4. Cool. We don't left, we don't left any garbage here. I don't think so. Okay. 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 I hope you like it. Year 2021, D4. Okay, uh, thank you for watching, hope you liked it, bye bye.